Now the Lutheran Church of Christ in Nigeria, LCCN, under the auspices of the Lutheran World Federation in collaboration with the Symbols of Hope Initiative has flagged off a sensitization campaign against human trafficking and illegal migration. This was revealed during the organization's visit to Tantale Hills of Koma 2 in Adamawa State. The report. Human trafficking involves recruitment, harboring or transporting people into forced labor, prostitution, begging, criminality, domestic servitude and forced removal of organs through sexploitation. This menace, though, has been in existence for as far back as the days of colonialism. It remains a grave crime in Nigeria as it is against the fundamental rights of an individual. And since so many people are still adamant about keeping the practice, the Symbols of Hope Initiative, in collaboration with the Lutheran World Federation, are taking their campaign to places such as markets, schools, and remote communities to sensitize the people. According to the coordinator, Emmanuel Gabriel, alongside his team members, the visit was to educate the residents about the dangers of human trafficking and the need to avoid giving out their children and words to strangers on the pretext of a better life. The sensitization in Koma is uh, basically on creating awareness to the people of Koma with regards to human trafficking and irregular migration. A lot of migrant smugglers and human traffickers have taken advantage of their ignorance to take their children to the cities and sometimes subject them to slave-like uh, activities and domestic servitude and forced labor. So the Symbols of Hope project, which is an, uh, a department of the Lutheran Church of Christ in Nigeria, feels right to come over here and educate the people. There is going to be a change of the perspective of the people of how they should live their life or whatever such will happen, they shall have caution on what to do and how they will live their life. Meanwhile, the resident pastor of the LCCN church in Tantale, Augustine Tulip, described how the issue has been of major concern in the community. Some people are coming to deceive them that they should come and go together with them for education. But unfortunately, they are taking them as a slave. About 95% of our children are not present with us. This has been an annual routine for the LCCN Church with the expectations to bring the ugly trend to the BRS minimum. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.